Coffee. The object of my rise and fall. talking about how I perish this year. Define perish. Wither away, die, leave this plane of existence, I don't know. Um, but I did it. Me, myself, as I thought I was. Perished. And here's how. But to get there, we have to go back to the beginning. Not of birth. Relax, not that far back. Restart in my life that I had to go through a couple years ago. I had to hit a reset button on my life and I uh, left a job, I moved back home, and uh, the biggest thing was uh, finding a job, trying to like just get back up on my feet. And the place where I landed was a big old coffee chain. And at first I didn't even like coffee, wasn't into it, didn't taste good, tasted like ground dirt water. It was supposed to be a transition job until I really figured out what I wanted to do with my life. <laughs> Still asking that question. Uh, years go on, I'm working on this job, I'm starting to like it. I think I'm starting to realize that I just like people. I like being around people, I like talking to interesting people, and people like coffee. After I started working there, it had been a while, but I had met my beautiful lady, and eventually, uh, we decided to move in together, so I transferred to a different store, same company, um, to progress further, and I started to really enjoy the job. Uh, I wanted to move up. Within six months of the job, I became a supervisor. I decided that, hey, I'm here, why not get paid more money to do it, you know? Um, plus, I really liked a team and being in charge of a team, so I, I owned that, and I found my team, and then I transferred um, to a new team. And that in itself was a difficult task because this team wasn't easy. But I feel like I intermingled myself and I learned a lot and I kept growing and I had great mentors, I had great leaders. So for years, I poured my heart and soul into this job. And then 2021 hit. By the end of 2021, I had been working for this company for years. It was going pretty good. And I had worked my butt off. I had won coffee championships, become leaders in several different stores. So I went for the big promotion. And long behold, I got it. They moved me up to assistant manager. One week before I was gonna be on the beaches of Mexico proposing to Emily, I got the phone call. Everything was looking up. Let me tell you, I was stoked. I was ready to hit the ground running when we got back. We were planning a wedding. I was planning for a new job. We were working on a promotion, it was great. I had new leaders in my life. I had new friends in my life. This, it was, it, everything was going great. 2022 hit, boy. Did it turn around fast? I not only got a promotion, I got a second promotion. And at the time, I was ecstatic. I was like, wow, this is great. They really believe in me. They really trust me. I got great leaders behind me. And I thought I did. But very quickly, things turned around. Uh, I lost my direct boss. Um, I was now on my own, obviously in charge of a store that uh, wasn't really welcoming. That was a challenge in and of itself. A couple months went by. We had new leadership. Corporation itself was going through some changes that they weren't particularly enjoying. And it was really coming down the line. And of course, I'm this new manager in this position and I'm really just getting hit with everything. And we're trying, and I'm trying my best to stay above water. And my physical health was taking a beating and my mental health was taking a beating and my relationship that we were supposed to be planning a wedding was taking a beat. And I was stressed out of my mind to like the point where I couldn't relax. My days off, it was just full of phone calls and meetings and stuff like that. There was no downtime. I'd work 14 hour days. And every day there would be more and more and more and more that we had to take care of or, or be a part of. And there was, it was just a lot of stress. And I'm not saying the job was completely terrible, but I did feel let down by this corporation that I had poured my life into. And I, once I got to the top of where I wanted to be, I got zero support after. It just felt like I was on an island alone, you know? And then the time came where apparently I could not float anymore. 
and I was sat down one day, and on a technicality, I was let go. Now at the time, I was mad. I was angry, I felt like I had given everything, everything to this corporation, and I was worth nothing to them, which hurt. It sucked, and it wasn't fun because I worked really hard to get to where I was. I felt like I was not given a fair shake, which to this day is fun. I hit a pretty big rock bottom in 2022. Everything that I had become over these years, people referred to me as the coffee guy. I just didn't know who I was anymore. It was hard, it was very hard. I didn't want to talk about it with people. I didn't want to just, I didn't want to think about it. I barely told people. Emily was the biggest support in my life and I am so thankful for everything that she stuck with me with. I found my foundation again and what it was, was people. I went back to serving tables, which I hadn't done in years, but it got me in the midst of people, and meeting people, interesting people, talking to people. And then I found another job and it was back in coffee because coffee hadn't escaped me. So I'm now managing again at a coffee shop locally owned. I'm starting to realize that I'm back at the heart of what I was searching for to begin with, and that is people, learning about people and talking to people. And somewhere along the line, I lost that. And finally, just recently, I got up the nerve to fill up a box. This is a box that is full of all of my accomplishments, all of my awards, all of my attire, Everything that I ever earned from my previous job is right in this box. And I put it into a box and I set it aside and I was like, man, I'm going to get rid of that. And guess what? I didn't. And I couldn't. Because this was me for so long. There is never a time where when we fall, we can't get back up. And I've done that with people. I've done that with support. And now I'm gonna do that without this box. In 2022, I perished. The old me, gone. The new me, what I want from life, I still don't know, but I know that I wanna get back to my passions, I wanna get back to my camera, I wanna get back to this YouTube channel, and I wanna find me, and I wanna find the world, and I wanna find people that also wanna get in touch with people. Point is, no matter how hard it gets, find your people, find your support system, and you can start over. It is never too late. And I've proven that now twice. I'm gonna try to find me, try to be who I am, and I'm gonna bring you along in the journey with me. So please, like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment down below telling me what your 2022 was like, or what happened to you when you fell down real hard and how you got back up on your feet. This new year is coming, and the only thing I know is that I am Brandon True, and from here on out, I'm coming at you.